today we're here with Kathy and we're going to install an electric jack. If you're interested in installing an electric jack to, onto your trailer, stay tuned because we're going to show you how to do it. This is a electric trailer jack haul master and Kathy said she got it from Harbor Freight. $139. If you buy things from Harbor Freight, you can oftentimes give them your email, get on their list, and they'll have 20% off days monthly, maybe bi weekly. So you could probably even pick it up for cheaper than that. I actually got 20% off. So there you have it. <laughs> yeah. Good deal. So we have a hardware kit. We have a hardware kit that we get. A little book that tells you how to do it with an inline fuse. Crank. It looks like this goes in pretty straightforward. There's three. There's three bolts here. We're chalking it so we don't roll. We got Larry here jacking up the tongue. Yeah. I don't think it's moving, is it? Okay. Yeah, it's going up. No, I mean, That's it's not okay rolling now. back. See? That's what I worry about right there. So Larry's putting some uh, supports underneath it. You want to put the plywood underneath it? I just want I want three things underneath. It. See, look, they're all, off. and then things that pretty solid there. Okay. So he's got his impact wrench. Which you don't need if you don't have it. You can no, use a you socket. Need a socket wrench. So you took all the weight off of the crank jack. And he just pulls it right out of the top. Now he's going to have to take the foot off of the electric jack to be able to get it to pass through. He's going to line his bolt holes up, but he's also going to look at which way he wants to orient the motor and the wiring and stuff to make sure it's where he wants it. What we got going is the bottom hole diameter is too small for the electric jack to fit, so we're going to ream it. tongue is too small then you're gonna have to ream that hole bigger so what we did is we went and got a rasp at Home Depot that looks just like this it's a metal grinding grasp we picked it up at Home Depot what did we pay for it uh, four, bucks. four dollars put it on an electric drill and then just ream that hole bigger so now with the hole bigger we're ready to set the electric jack in and wire it up now the next step is since this is an electric jack we're gonna go ahead and grind a little bit of paint off of both the electric jack and the tongue so when they marry up, there'll be a good connection for uh, a ground. And I'm also gonna go get some dielectric uh, grease and put a little dielectric grease on it just to put things in our favor. make sure that we get a good ground we're grinding it out and then we're going to use some dielectric grease around all the open metal to help protect against that corrosion closing that ground out so it's an extra measure you can get this at home depot for i don't know maybe five dollars something like that now that we've got everything ground down we're going to put some dielectric grease on and get the wiring ready to wire this thing up for power so she'll have an electric uh, jack Here's your grease. So it doesn't matter where it, it goes. Matter. You okay. got a light right here though. Do you want the light over by the where you're hooking it up? If it's at night, you'll have a little light. Yeah. Oh, you got light on both sides. Oh. Right. Okay. So do you want them? Do you want this thing pointing like? Look, we can put the motor behind and then the 
lights are here and then that gives you more room to move Perfect. around with your elbows and stuff. Perfect. Alright, so that's going to dictate where it goes, so that, that's, okay. that's what you get. Okay, so when you're hooking wires up, there's a couple different ways you can get them connected. One of them is you could solder two connections together and put some heat shrink tubing over it. Another way is to use a little piece like this. This is called a butt splice connector and they're different colors. For instance, if it's red, it's for a smaller diameter wire. Blue, one step up bigger than that. Yellow, one step up bigger than that. In this case, we're gonna use the yellow butt splice connector to connect this wire to the wire that's connected to the motor on the electric jack. Before we do that, we're gonna put a little dielectric grease on this crimp. We just wanna put everything in our favor. Now you can get these, uh, you can get these crimpers in kits and they come pretty cheap and you get what you pay for. Another way you can go is you can step up, this is a vice grip brand, and it'll actually have a yellow dot on it for where the crimp goes. If you want to get fancier than that, you can buy a Clyde crimp tool. That's what the professionals use. So let's go ahead and crimp this up. You can put the wire in both sides if you want, but it's easier if you crimp one side first. Alright, that's in there good and solid. I'll put a little dielectric grease on this and let Larry take it away. Yeah, those are okay. Especially for like just once in a while. Yeah, and for a
thanks for watching and hopefully we made this job uh, as an example to make your job a little bit easier. See you on the next one.